வணக்கம் வெல்கம் பேக் இன் திஸ் வீடியோ டுட்டோரியல் வி ஆர் கோயிங் டு சி ஹவு டு கேல்குலேட் என்டிடபிள்யூஐ யூசிங் லேண்ட்சாட் எயிட் இமேஜரி அண்ட் வில் பி ஆல்சோ சீங் ஹவு டு எக்ஸ்போர்ட் இட் ஆஸ் அன் இமேஜ் அண்ட் விஷுவலைஸ் இட் இன் ஜிஏஎஸ் பிளாட்ஃபார்ம் ஸோ பிஃபோர் கெட்டிங் ஸ்டார்டட் லெட்ஸ் ஹவ் எ குவிக் வியூ ஆஃப் வாட் திஸ் என்டிடபிள்யூஐ இஸ் so ndwa stands for normalized difference water index used to detect water bodies in satellite images so as water bodies strongly absorbs light in visible to infrared electromagnetic spectrum ndwa uses green and near infrared bands to highlight the water bodies or detect the water bodies the ndwa is also used to monitor the changes related to water contents in water bodies so it can be also done uh, using images from different time stamps or different time periods you can also change the uh, you can also find the changes to the water bodies or water content so the formula for ntwi is green minus nar divided by green plus nar and in an uh, in landsat 8 green band is band number 3 and uh, nar is band number 5 that you can see here and you can also find it for the Uh, other satellite images for example sentinel 2 landsat 1 to 5 likewise modis so when we are get, getting the ndvi result it will be uh, ranging from uh, plus 1 to minus 1 so so greater than 0.3 uh, reflects high water contents likely uh, open water bodies uh, 0 0.0 to 0.3 uh, it is possible of so moisture soil or wet vegetation or thin water that you can find after a uh, rain or shallow wetlands so less than 0 is uh, mostly dry lands vegetation and urban surfaces so we can also see the broad classification of the ndwa value as is been uh, reflected over here and if you come down you can find the bands in landsat 8 images so we are going to use this band number 3 and uh, band number 5 green and nar bands so now let us see how to calculate it in google earth engine so the first step is to define a point of interest so i am defining the variable as point that is equal to e geometry dot point so i am just specifying the lat long values so you can find the lat long values from here latitude and longitude if you want to find it in the map you can use the inspector tool and you can click on a particular region automatically the lat long will be coming up here you can copy this uh, lat long values and paste it first you can paste it the longitudinal value and followed it by the latitude value now after setting our point of interest let us move on to the next process so the next process is to load the least cloudy landsat 8 images so first is we are going to set uh, set the image collection set the image collection so i am defining the variable as a name called as image so i'm uh, specifying the image collection you can uh, go on to the search option here you can type landsat 8 and you can search for it so like this you will be getting up some result so i'm going to use this one landsat 8 collection 2 uh, tier 1 toa reflectance so this serves the highest uh, av available data quality in tier 1 and you can uh, find some more uh, details about this in the bands what and all bands are there image properties for example cloud cover you can sort it using the metadata cloud cover how much the cloud cover should be now in order to source the image you can directly import it otherwise you can just copy it after closing it you can see here you can just place it over here so after that we are going to use the filter by bounds so it's uh, nothing but we are going to filter this landsat image based on the location as we have specified here this this is why we are putting point inside we have sourced it from this one we are just filtering based on the location next followed is we are going to use dot filter date so we are going to just filter it based on the dates so defaultly i am uh, i have given some dates from 2024 to 2025 actually the landsat 8 image is available from the year 2013 so you can uh, start from the year 2013 and you can use up to 2025 
and next function is we are going to sort it based on the cloud cover so I have already shown you that uh, the meta in metadata you can find the cloud cover so I am using that metadata to sort the image and next is dot first so the least image will be coming up first using this dot first option and next is we are going to print the image so I am going to print the Landsat 8 image you can see the image which we have given which is a reference from here Landsat 8 as you have sourced so print image is to just to check whether the image has been loaded correctly you can also find some more details about the image when it was taken the number of pans like this information will be available using this print option so we'll be seeing that after the running the codes in console we can find it up now next uh, if you come down to the next step is to calculate the NDWI so the formula is NIR minus red and NIR plus red sorry let me correct it so this is the formula right as I have shown you in the word document so I am defining a new variable called as NDWI I am giving the name NDWI so that is equal to image dot normalize difference so this is a function available in Google Earth Engine so it computes the normalized difference between two bands for example if the bands to use are not specified uses the first two bands the uh, normalized difference is computed as first minus second first plus second okay right as you can see in this so here we are going to specify the first as green and second is NIR same thing first is green and second is NIR So that is why so that is why I am specifying band 3 here so band 3 will be coming first and followed by band 5 and I am using dot rename to this function just used to uh, rename the bands after uh, we just renaming the band to NDWI nothing more in that so the next is we are going to display the NDWI on this map so we are going to use this function map DAO center object so in this we are going to use image so here you can find image is nothing but the image which we have used the Landsat 8 image you can see here using the Landsat 8 image we have calculated the NDWI and we are just calling that image so based on the image we are going to center it in the map it will be centered in the map and followed by that you can see some values over here this is nothing but the zoom level you can increase it or decrease the zoom level and followed by that is, that is we are going to add the layer to the map and you can see here the NDWI the result file and we are going to just give the value the maximum and linear value minus one and plus one and you can see there color code sequence over here using this code so I have just given some colors to it that I can show you in the word document here so here you can see the color codes and what the color is you can find it I'll be giving that in description you can just check it out I'll be also sharing this codes next followed by this is after giving the colors We are going to get the full scene based on the scene boundary so we are going to get the entire image so for that in order to get the entire image we are going to use this function variable and we are going to say bound nothing but the boundary so in order to get the entire image I am using this function image dot geometry the geometry of the image will be taken and the full scene will be will be getting the full scene Followed by this step, step is we are going to export the full NDY image to our Google Drive. So we are going to define this export image dot to drive. So the image is nothing but the NDWI, the result file, as you have seen here, specified it. Right. And you can see the description for it. So I'll be telling what is this uh, description is all about. And after that, we are going to set the region that is nothing but the bounds so you can see what is bounds is nothing but the geometry of the image 
satellite image and scale is nothing but the resolution native resolution that is 30 meters and finally we are going to set the CRS so I'm just defaultly setting it to EPS EPG EPSC 4326 now let us see the result click on run so you can see here the process has been going up and you can see the result has been come up so this is the NDWI yeah, just uh, you can see we have uh, renamed it to NDWI just uh, for uh, visualizing it here in the layers we are just rename it as NDWI and if you just move on to the console you can see the Landsat 8 image so inside that you can find the bands when the image was taken when the image was taken can be seen from here so you can see here when the image was taken and uh, the bands in this image so I got this using this function called as print Landsat 8 image that is print option so I have given the name Landsat 8 image that you can see the reflect you can see here as well as we have renamed it to NTWA this is nothing for two we are given the layer name here it will be NTWA that is why we have renamed it so if you just move on to the task session you can find the NTWI full scene you can see here so in the description we have given it as NTWI full scene it's just a name for it ok right now let us run it and let us export it to the drive click on run and you can see you can set the name for it so I am uh, just leaving to default as I already given the name NTWI full scene let it be if you want you can change it and here you can give the uh, you can give any file name it to the output image and we just need to specify the folder name here in the Google Drive you can create any folder in Google Drive and you just have to specify the name for example let me let it drive. so you can see in the drive I am using a folder called as GEE and inside that I am storing some uh, outputs so like that you can give any folder name to it and you can run it you can successfully export the image it will be taking from 1 minute to 5 minutes because this is a big scene so if you just zoom in and uh, you can also find these details you can find the details of this NDVI result so if you just zoom in you can find the water bodies clearly differentiating from the other features in the land surface you can use the inspector tool to inspect it for example if you just click on this the water body you can find the uh, values of it you can find it 0 0.59 and if you click on somewhere here or here you can see it is in negative in negative value so this can be uh, yeah and if you have a take a closer view of it let me remove this and you can see some fallow lands over here and if I add on the NDVI sorry NDWI if you click on here you can see the results these are in negative values these are not the water bodies so it is in negative values and you can find this find here so it is having a 0 0.28 confirming it is have a water body but it might be shallow depth uh, might be low or uh, having some high turbidity so the satellite image might be of a different time so don't get confused with it just for example I have shown you now let us wait for the image to be completed to be completed so the export has been successfully done you can see here in the taskbar you can find it let us open it in the drive and you can see the output let us download this file so let me give download anyway so you can see here it is uh, coming up around 175 MB so the download has been completed so now let us add it add data so this is the NDWI full scene which we have generated in Google Earth Engine you can have a look at it how the image is looking like you can see the background uh, 
color is in black color you can uh, remove that I have already shown you that once again I'll be showing it so right click and you can find the properties click on properties and just come down so you can find no data value click on edit and let us compute it so here let us put 0 click on ok now apply click ok now let us remove the image and just add it once again now add it now you could see the difference if you want you can also change the color scheme for it so you can change this color scheme for this so if you just come down so I'm going to pick up this color as you can see here the positive values is blue and the negative values red color yellow color and green color let's click apply and click OK now you could see like this you can generate so if you have any other doubts on this you can ask in the comment section please do subscribe and like the channel Goodbye everyone. Thank you.